What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to do another Apollo 10 photo. The reason for this is that this is going to prove that the following missions that actually went and landed on the moon and walked on the moon were not there for rocks and dust because this Apollo 10, like I said in the last video, was nothing more than an orbiting mission. But why were they orbiting? Just to test if they could actually do it? Or were they looking for places to land in special areas? Well, I think it's the latter, and we're going to get into that. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to show you where you can get the photo. Then we're going to go right into Photoshop, show you the full enhancement, and then I'm going to show you the larger items that caught my eye and a couple of observations that I made. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right quadrants so you can pause it and have a better look yourself. So let's just jump right into it. All right, this is the photo we'll be looking at right here. Its ID number is AS10-29-4251. Click on it. Wait a little bit, their server's a little slow. Here's the photo right here. And of course, this little arrow just under the photo, you can download that, right? We can expand it. Now it looks like a pretty decent photo. It looks like it's got some decent details, but does it really? I got news for you. All these little dots in the bottom of the photo, and just about every one you see here, is most likely a structure. Again, let's just jump right into Photoshop. This is the photo. This is how big it was. So this way we can zoom into it, and it won't break apart as bad. All right. Folks, what I'm about to show you, in my opinion, is a city. So let's just jump into the full enhancement. Let's have a look. All right. Again, all these little white dots, these are actually structures or something connected to a structure. So let me show you the objects that jumped out at me first. Again, get your magnifiers out, your jeweler's eye, whatever it is. I may go in too close at some times and it'll look distorted. We don't want that. I'll back out enough to where you can see it, whether you're on your small screen, your tablet, or if you're on a PC, you're better off, or if you're Casting it onto a larger TV, which would be the best option, right? Okay. The first things you're going to see, and I'm just going to show you a few of these. There's far too many to actually show you. Here. 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 And folks, there's a lot more smaller things, so don't think for a moment there's not a lot to see in here. Things like this that look like they're either half buried or they have manipulation going over half of them, like this one right here. If you zoom into this, you can see this pretty well. Look at the objects, folks. See that? You can almost see this one right underneath. In fact, I can actually see that one right here, just underneath. Okay. This one looks like it has a star shape to it at least from the appearance from most of it, that's what I'm seeing with something round in it. Right off the bat, clearly that is not natural, okay? I'll show this a little bit darker too as so I try to get rid of some of this lighter stuff. Here. This area right here. This. This one. Let me show you this other one over here to the left as well. This is pretty cool. Just above the part of the orbiter. Right here, and I'm going to lighten this up in a second. Check this out. We have something right here. Looks like a line going to it, and it appears to have something almost like glowing on a platform. And I don't mean literally glowing, but more of a reflection, right? You can see it's right there, but it's blended in so well. Okay. See that right there? Right there. Check that out. Looks like it has a reflection, and you can see the shadow off the back of it. See that? The shadow's in the back. And you get something that looks like it's reflecting off the face of this. And it looks like it's like a half of an oval, if you will, right? 
All right, let's bounce over to here. I'm just going to show you a couple things, like I said. This item. This here. Go up here. Now, this is where it gets pretty interesting. Right in the middle of the screen. Look at this object right here. Okay. That is actually in the photo. It's right here. I can see that. And I can see the way the lines are. Something along them lines. Check that out. Okay. Docking it up. This may be dock, folks, but what I did was I tried to dock in the whole screen. You can use the burn tool very lightly, and what happens is all of the whiter parts get more separated, so you can see the individuality of these items. And then we have to bring down all of the areas that were brightened over. You can see like things like this. That may not be just a simple rock or dune. That may be actually like structures, and they've been really brightened up to hide them, right? All right, this part of the photo right off the bat, this in the middle of the screen itself. Have a look at these folks. This whole area right here. You can see where this on the left does this, goes like this, comes around. We have this piece doing this, appears to be doing that, and going back. You can see in the line here, this right here appears to be some kind of middle piece. And there's a whole bunch of what looks like either other structures or what look like spacecraft sitting in this platform area. We have something right here. But something that looks like it's actually sticking out or some sort doing this here. Not sure. But do you guys see that? These actually have a really cool shape that's actually still visible if we were to take this out. I can see this right here. See that? Right there. All right. So these things are, in fact, there. Docking it up. It's harder to see, but look at the whiter pieces, and they have depth to them. These are not natural lunar landscape. Here. Brighten it up a bit. Over here. Check this out. What looked like some kind of weird structure or spacecraft. Then we have these items here. Not sure what to make of that. We can dock that up a little bit. And you can still see these items. Again, here's the other two items with this other piece in the back. And you can see this one's got a shadow going this way as well as this one right here on the back side of that item. See that? All right. Here's one of my observations I thought was pretty interesting because when I seen this, I was kind of like, what the heck? I can look at lots of these things, including this over here, which I did not show you yet. This item right here, which looks like this triangular structure with something on top of it or some kind of craft. I don't know what that is, but check that out. This is what I find interesting. If I was to back out, I could find structures, and I'll just mock them off quickly, down here, that one here, this one up here in the top right, all these structures over here, including this one here, and this one here almost completely taken out. But again, these are on platforms. What I find interesting, we have all of these parts, but for some reason over here looks like just a bunch of garbage, like something hit there, like a bomb or something. So there's actually three options to this. One, they just chose not to build there for whatever reason or not as many structures. Two, it's manipulation covering up, which probably the most likely. And three, there was a war there. Something hit that area and decimated that area. And of course, they are speculative because I really don't know the answer. Now, I'll zoom back in again to some of these objects. Circle them again. You can see these other items. Now, let me just show you the upper left corner. I'll go light and dark. You can see the shape better. Sometimes lighter, you can see the shape better. Okay? There you go right there. Pause it anywhere, folks. Anything that grabs your eyes. Right here. Again, this whole area, just like the left side, as well as this item here, this item. Okay. Docking it up a little bit. 
Pause it right here. Have a look. We'll go lower right. Again, this piece right here. But folks, look at the rest of it in the middle. It seems to be just a mess and really not any real information. I'm wondering if that's just manipulation really blocked out the area or in fact, that something hit there. I don't know. Again, purely speculative. Items here, here, here. Oh, there's just so much to point out here, folks. It's crazy. Just these weird little objects. We got these in a row. Not sure what to make of that. And again, folks, we're looking through manipulation. So it's hard to drag out some of this stuff, but we're going to do our darndest, especially when you have something like this, which is the original photo. But there is, in fact, things in this photo that you and I weren't supposed to see. Here's a perfect example how they do this. Like, for instance, this piece, this little straight piece. Now, you would probably never notice that because you see just this and you see right here. Oh, wow, that's it. No, it actually goes down further. Darker area put right over most of this and only a portion of that sticking out. But there's actual items there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of this just enough so we can actually get this whole thing in the photo. Pause it right here. And again, look at it with your magnifiers, whatever it may be. Magnifying glass, jeweler's eyepiece, larger screen. Pause it right here. Have a good look. I'm convinced that this is a city right here on the moon. And this is the first time you see it, this many structures laid out. We even have what looks like these lines here that may be actual travel tube type things. Or it's just all kinds of structures in a row. It's not the best quality photo, so therefore, you're not going to see this stuff clear, right? But there you are. Folks, to me, in my opinion, the Apollo 10 mission was simply to go around the moon, take close pictures of the lunar surface, find the structures, because I'm sure they've seen these with a very large telescope, and they said, listen, we need to have a look at what's up there, but this is what we're going to do. We're going to have a mission. We're not going to land on the moon. We're going to scout the moon and find out which is the most densely populated or with the most structures, crafts, whatever it may be on the surface, and we're going to land in that area. Let's go ahead and do that mission, mission 10. And that's why I'm convinced that Apollo 10 was just to survey the area and scope it out so Apollo 11, even future Apollo missions, could land there, right? But to me, Apollo 10 proves that they weren't up there looking for rocks and dust or any of that other sort. They were there for a recon mission, like I said in the last video. As always, guys, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. As always, folks, we've got more videos uh, coming up, so stay tuned for that. And again, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.